السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Welcome dear brothers and sisters to Islam 201 Alhamdulillah this is section 1 and in this section we are going to speak about introduction to Islam we are going to speak about the meaning of Islam linguistically as well as technically we are also going to speak about the disconnect where and when and how the people began to disconnect from theism which is the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards deism and then to secularism and atheism which is the uh, belief that there is no God and we are also going to speak about agnosticism which is the fact that as secular as people have become people are unable to leave the fact that there must be a creator of this universe so let's get right down into it <clears throat> today uh, we want to speak about the meaning of Islam linguistically the word Islam did not uh, uh, come from a person uh, it wasn't named after a country it wasn't named after a people it wasn't named after a race in fact the word Islam Al Islam in the Arabic language it means submission is the Islam it means to submit so this is uh, Islam in the Arabic language therefore Islam did not begin with the Prophet Muhammad because people have a misconception that it was the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam, who brought Islam no in fact Islam did not even begin from Adam alayhi salam Islam existed ever since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the creation to submit to him because as soon as the creation exists the creation has no choice but to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so yes Islam began among the humans from Adam alayhi salam but Islam existed before because angels existed before the human beings and the angels were Muslims they submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jinn kind also existed before the human beings and they were Muslims amongst them so Islam did not begin with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam rather it was completed upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam and therefore Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam is the final prophet and messenger of al-Islam so <clears throat> the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is simply the last of the human prophets who came to teach humanity how to submit to their creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Islam it means submission it means submission this word al-Islam also shares its roots with another word in the Arabic language which means peace and tranquility uh, how does Islam mean peace and tranquility of course we are not talking about peace as in the absence of war because sometimes in order to preserve peace war must take place also it is possible for a person to be free of war and yet suffer from lack of peace we are speaking about the inner peace within a human being that is achieved through al-islam so the peace that we are referring to is the inner peace and rest which is tranquility within the heart the rest within the heart that is attained when the person believes and acts in accordance to one's nature it is part of the human nature therefore to know and believe in the truth 
and the greatest truth is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, the greatest truth is Al-Islam which is the religion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to all creation and to the human beings. So when the human being follows that nature upon which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him, then the human being will find peace and tranquility. Therefore, if the human being obeys Allah, follows Al-Islam, submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follows his prophets and messengers, then the human being will find peace and tranquility within his heart. And unless and until the human being does not find God and does not find the religion of God, Al-Islam, the human being will remain restless. And that is the greatest disease that the humanity has been plagued with uh, universally in our times today. So uh, Al-Islam is submission. And it is the peace and tranquility the tranquility that is acquired by submitting to God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then this inner peace spreads to one's family, relatives, and the community, as well as the society and the whole world. And this is what God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. It all begins with an individual. It began with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, uh, it began with a Prophet that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala time after time after time had been sending. So Islam began with him in his time and then he spread that Islam, the submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he helped people to attain that inner peace and tranquility by submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to his family members, to his relatives, to his community and to the society. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned this promise uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Islam will spread to the entire earth. This earth belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that this Islam will spread to the entire earth. Don't you think about this? How many people were there? How many Muslims were there at the time of Adam alayhi salam? Then, uh, had the people not increased to the time of Nuh alayhi salam and then to the people of Hud alayhi salam did Islam not increase then the people of Salih did Islam not increase and so on and so forth until the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam did the people not increase and then moving forward to the time of uh, Musa alayhi salam did the Muslims not increase and then to the time of Isa alayhi salam and then finally to the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhim ajma'in did Islam not increase Islam is a one-way road Islam will only increase Muslims Muslims will only increase and today walhamdulillah we are reaching nearly two billion Muslims throughout this world and as the Pew Research has mentioned that by 20, uh, 2050, uh, Islam, Islam uh, will reach, uh, uh, you know, 2.2 uh, billion, around 2.2 billion. And by 2100, by 2100, Islam will be the largest, will be the largest religion in the world, surpassing the Christians, the Catholics and other religions altogether. This is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course uh, Islam will continue continue to increase uh, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam foretold and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show the world that Allah azza wa jal is the truth and the Prophet Muhammad is the truth and all the prophets were truth and Al-Islam is the truth.